Welcome and welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Jo. If this is your first time seeing my face, make sure to hit that subscribe button before we get started. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on an upload. Give this video a big thumbs up. It helps more people see it. Also comment down below. For today's video, I'm going to be making over my bed. When I originally was looking for a bed when I moved here, I wanted an orange bed frame, but they're really hard to come by. I couldn't find any. Okay, let me get a wood bed frame and paint it orange. So that's what we're doing today. I pushed this off, literally been here since, I probably had my bed since the middle end of August, September, October, November. We're three months, I've been pushing this off, so we're gonna get it done to Day. I'm gonna show you guys what my bed frame looks like now and then the paint that I'm using and then we're just gonna get started So this is how my bed is looking now. It's literally wood. So this bed frame is originally like They make this one at Ikea. It's just like a wood bed frame But I got it off of Facebook marketplace because when I was looking at Ikea Around that time, I guess they were like literally sold out of everything so I got this off of Facebook Marketplace, but I knew I wanted to paint it, so I got it, I cleaned it. So I'm just gonna paint this, and I'm gonna show you the color that I wanna paint it. This is the paint I'm using. This is the color sample. I got it from Home Depot. I'm not sure if this little thing is gonna be enough. I guess we'll see, and I, I just got a paintbrush. Now thinking about it, I should've got a roller, but we're just gonna work with what we got and see what we could come up with. I'm gonna use this Ikea box that I got that my lac shelf came in I'm gonna use this box to like put under the parts that I'm painting and then I'm gonna use this hair dye like container I wash it out I'm gonna use this to put my paint in because this is my only options so the first step is to take my sheets off of my bed and take my bed off got the bed over here with jazz help this is how the bed frame looks without anything. I use, all this is just storage under here, so I'm not gonna move any of it because I'm not painting these, like I'm not painting these things. So I'm gonna leave everything under here. Paint like the outside and then this frame part. So let's move this. Guess I'll, I'll move the bed up so that I have room back here so I can paint the back of it. And then put this down. I move my bed up and I put cardboard down so that hopefully it can help with the paint. I know I should like probably prime the bed first, but I don't really feel like it, so I'm not going to. And then just see how it comes out. It's wood, so I feel like that's a pretty good base anyways. Are some in here. Okay, I guess I'll just start by painting, putting some paint on it. I'm definitely going to need more paint. I'm going to need at least two layers of this. I think I might have to go get more paint in a roller because this I feel like a roller would just be easier than this. This is how it's looking. This is, okay, you could definitely, this before, this is how it's looking so far. I'm definitely going to need, because you can like see the difference, going to need another coat. It's coming up more orange on camera. It's like a, a lighter orange in person. But I'm definitely going to need another coat. So I'm going to have to go back to Home Depot and get more paint. And also I'm going to get a roller because I feel like this isn't the most efficient. I feel like I'm using more paint this way than by getting a roller and rolling it on. So I'm going to go to Home Depot and then come back and like, try to finish off the rest of this made it to home depot i'm looking at rollers i don't really know what's good or not but i'm thinking of getting like 
just like a kit like this because I need it. So I'm thinking this one I should get. Let me get a sample size of this color. Hopefully that's enough. So this is what I end up getting. Because I don't have a tray. I was using this. So I'm getting this. It's a foam roller. I don't know how good it's supposed to be. It was like seven bucks. So anyways and then this is the one that i had already and then i got another another little one hopefully this is enough it best to be enough i know it's probably not completely dry but it's like dry enough i could try to put another coat on top so i can see like if another coat will make a difference but i painted all this and i also did the back as well before I went to Home Depot. So I'm gonna try it with a roller and see if that makes it a little more easier. I guess we'll see. I poured some in here. How do they give you a roller that don't even, don't even fit inside the goddamn thing? This is how it looks with the roller. It kind of, it kind of was a waste. You could see, I don't know. I'm just over it, you know. But I'm gonna just finish it, cause from afar, like even on camera, you can't really tell. So I'm gonna just do the best I can, and then at least I did the best I could. This is how it's looking so far. Maybe I should have bought the white because you can still you can still see the wood underneath it, and it's looking like a little it's coming out a little green like the wood. So this roller is shit. That's probably why it was seven dollars with this thing. It it's horrible. Like look at that. I'm gonna switch to the brush and see if that works. While I'm waiting for this second half to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting start painting the sides so that while these are waiting to dry I could go ahead and put the second coat on that it's been a few hours later I ate painted Paint some more, paint some more, and paint some more. So let me give you guys an update. This is how I was looking. I was able to push my bed back. I did two coats here. These two have both had two coats. I was able to get the front of this painted. And then this side has two coats. So basically done for the most part. I'm just going to show you one spot that's bothering me. This spot right here. Right there is bothering me. So once it dries, I'm probably going to go over it again because that sticks out the most. I'm gonna let it this dry for a whole day before I even think about putting my bed back. So I'll be back tomorrow with an update on how everything looks. It's the next day, I think give or take, maybe 20, 24 hours later and it's all done. I just, I literally just put my bed back on and my sheets to show you guys how it turned out. This is how it's looking. I think it adds a nice pop of color to the room. You can see it like peeking through like under, but my sheets is like long enough so you can't really see it, but it peeks through. So I think it looks good. I am more than satisfied with how my bed came out. You guys comment down below and let me know how you think it came out. Give this video a big thumbs up so it helps more people see it. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video for another day of vlogmas. Bye.